This is DJ T. Roy. Uh, I'm going to do a quick video uh, to talk about my new project. I'm going to build a facade, a glow facade. I saw them. These things go for around $1,400. I'm in Home Depot right now. Getting some wood. And look what I found. These are fucking eight foot. 350, 347. Um, my facade is going to be um, four panels, uh, two feet by four feet, um, and I'm going to make it fold in on each other. You need a miter box, and then you're going to have to start prepping your wood. Um, I'm doing uh, 24 by 48. These are my these are my sides. <clears throat> or my 24 inch prep and this is the last one I'm just going to cut off the end and then I've cut all my long pieces down and I'll have to cut the ends on these and so I've got one complete and three more to go panels together and uh, what I'm using is uh, Thank you, Cara, for sharing this. two by four plexi and the same wood I've cut out now, I'm making the frame, and to keep it together, I'm using staples in each corner. That's what I'm doing now. Now that I've got all my pieces uh, prepped, I am now doing the frames. I'm putting staples, in each corner to hold them together temporarily. Then I mark the sides. Here's the next one. I've already prepped it. Again, this is 48 by 24, or two feet by four feet. One that's finished, and see what I'm talking about, the screws here. Um, I sh really should have put it here, because people would like to come up and lean on it, and I don't want anybody to scratch themselves. Or Frames are complete. I made two. The front frame is going to be a little bit larger. Um, I'm going to put a, like one and a half inch screw in there, and they are flathead uh, countersunk screws. So I'm going to drill a little bit bigger, and uh, then I'll dr drill in a starter hole and get them going. The thing I do, I uh, I go larger. So th I put a three eighths bit in there first, and now I'm going to go with a uh, a smaller bit. And it looks like. Uh, 764s to get the hole started. The 764s inside of a 3 8 Those are number eight by one and a half. And so basically, it would look like this once it goes in there. And attach the LEDs to the inside of the board. This is tricky, but the LEDs fit right inside the channel. So. What I want to do is uh, staple about halfway down. Let's see if I can get this to focus in. You want to staple halfway down. Be careful to go across the LED strip. Um, it's essential you don't go inside of it because you could wreck your strip before you get done. You're going to make your cut as far down as the LEDs can make it. So I'm going to cut it right here and leave this little, there'll be a little gap here, but the light should diffuse and take care of it. You want to cut on these guys right here. That's what they're for. You cut at these strips. Focus. And you want to cut. Just like. It's hard to do one-handed. there so there it is there'll be a little gap there but I think the LED once it lights up it should be fine so all the way around and first test this puppy still turns on and there she goes she is all lit up the inside 
So it's time to put the plexi on the back. See, it's working fine, stapled, and everything. Time to put the sheets of plexi down, front and back. I've got the table laid out on the. I've got the frame laid out, complete with LED inside. And we are going to place the plexi on. The plexi is a little bit larger than the sides. It's supposed to be 48 inches. It's a little bit bigger. Um, not by much. It looks like it's going to be actually pretty perfect on this one. So I had to cut a little bit on the bottom on the last one to put the feet on. I uh, put feet on the bottom. I don't know if you can see them down there. There they are. But you can see the cuts in the, on the back. So I use these little screws, finishing screws, to put it on the back. Um, just because I didn't want to spend a whole lot of money on on the uh, Velcro for the front, which I have to go back and get more. I'll show you that. Velcro right here. Um, believe they are, what is it? This is just the aisle. I think they were like 10 feet or something like that. The slit, rather, through here to allow this to come out and not get smashed. This cable here is going to control your LED. I'm using finishing, I'm using cheap metal finishing screws, number eight by one half inch. A drill pilot hose, I mark it yellow. The yellow doesn't show up. And I screw them in. So I'm going to do the first caddy corner. Make sure I'm lining it up before I drill pilot hose. <clears throat> So I've done these two, and they're both locked down, and now it won't move. So I'll make an adjustment. I'll make an adjustment back here on the cord, and then I'll just go on around and hit them all the way around. So I do. I did ten. Um, simply because when I picked it up, it was like uh, the wind was hitting it, and it made kind of a weird sound. Um, you don't want too few, or the corners won't bind properly, so I'm using 10. This panel, and it comes with this, the LEDs came with this remote, and there she goes. And this is the back, so the front is still not done yet. Just a quick test, so when I turn it around, you can see what we got. We got it lit up on the inside, plexis mounted. This is going to be the Velcro side. Quick note on the Velcro, it's 10 feet. What you're going to have to do is you're going to have to measure from here across the bottom and cut it. Once your Velcro's on, and you pull the tape off, take the same tape and then go along the Velcro to make sure it is sticking down to, to your board. You don't want it falling off in the middle of a gig. So make sure you uh, check it out and make sure it is on there good. All the Velcro is down. And I'm ready to put the, uh, the back on. Looks like on screen you can see a different lines around it, so um, trust me, it doesn't look like that. You don't see the, the yellow and that red, or that blue and that green. It's really just straight green. The camera is doing some weird things, but with the remote you can do different things. You can make it flash. Um, I usually like it on fade. Um, and just have it change in different colors. And that's what I said, if I do it to music, it'll, it'll play to the music. I just really haven't decided how I'm gonna use it yet until I get them all together. I may make them, I think I'm gonna make them all the same color or I may make the middle, um, middle change differently. It just depends on how I feel. Uh, the Plexi is just more stable and you can clean it easier. Um, so there it is.